As drivers continue to deal with the closure of the westbound side of the Washington Bridge, the cost to taxpayers to deal with the emergency is racking up and quickly. Good evening, I'm Shannon Heggie. I'm Mike Montecalvo. Meantime, a draft report from one of the seven firms examining the bridge suggests dramatic options to deal with the problem. Target 12 investigator Alexandra Leslie joins us now live in studio with an update on the latest numbers from the Department of Transportation. Well, by the end of January, state taxpayers were on the hook for about $860,000. The DOT provided me with expenses paid as of last week, which show it's now surpassed $2 million. The state has shelled out more than $2 million in the first 68 days since the westbound side of the Washington Bridge was closed. Rhode Island Department of Transportation spokesperson Charles St. Martin told Target 12 that as of February 16th, the agency paid $2,085,619 in expenses that include police details, operations, construction, and maintenance. State Senator Valerie Lawson, who represents East Providence, says she feels cost is secondary to safety right now. Unfortunately, these things Things cost money and you know it was unforeseen co costs but uh, the safety and the flow and that quality of life needs to be addressed. In the two months since the abrupt closure of the Washington Bridge, police in Providence and East Providence have over $151,000 in overtime costs. But the majority of money is going to state contractors Barletta and Aetna. Rideout personnel have been paid roughly $840,000 for their work on the bridge so far. A spokesperson tells me that's a mix of regular time and overtime. The future of the bridge remains unclear, but just yesterday, Target 12 obtained a draft report from VN Engineers, which suggests a replacement of the superstructure or even a full bridge replacement. In this week's taping of Newsmakers, Senator Sheldon Whitehouse said there's been an ask to look into federal funding. It's early to know what that need for funding is going to be until we know, what, is it a knockdown and replace? Can the pillars still stand? Is it a repair? What does it look like? And until we know that, it's hard to know what column it fits into a federal highway funding. The city of Providence has yet to be reimbursed by the state for police details and overtime. A spokesperson tells me the city has submitted an invoice totaling about $70,000 for work through February 11th and is still working for RIDOT for that money. With the Target 12 investigators live in studio, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.